welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to show you how to set up a USB printer on a Raspberry Pi. By default, the Raspbian operating system does not have printing included, but as we shall see, it's not too difficult to sort things out. Right, here I am on a standard Raspbian desktop on the Raspberry Pi, which you've seen me set up in uh, other videos. And to get a printer working here, we need to install the common Unix printing system, or CUPS. So I'm going to go to the terminal, and I'm going to type sudo, that's a super user command activation, and first of all, I'm going to do apt get and update. And I'll enter that. This just means that I'm updating the list of packages and repositories stored on my Raspberry Pi and will ensure that I download the newest version of whatever I install. So it's always a good idea to run app get update before doing an app get, particularly if you've not used your Pi for some time. As always, this may take a little while, so I'll let it run on, and speed through it, and then we'll continue with installing the printing software. And there we are, it's now fully updated. So I'm now going to type sudo again, uh, super user uh, to actually um, run a command in the root mode and apt get and again, but this time install cups, the uh, common Unix printing system. Enter. And again, it'll go away, try and find things. Do we want to continue? I think we do want to continue, Stanley. Yes, we do. There's actually no one here called Stanley, but um, I'm sure if there were, they would agree as well. Anyway, installing cups is quite a large thing to do. It's going to get a lot of files, configure a lot of things, so we'll speed through this as it gets on with the process. And there we are, it's finally completed. Right, we've now got it installed. The next thing we need to do is to uh, add the user we are on the Raspberry Pi, which is Pi, into the uh, default printing group. So to do that, we type again, sudo, doing again a super user command, and we're going to type user mod, user modification, a couple of flags, minus a and minus a capital G, make sure you get all your capitals and things right, and then the group we're adding to is the default printing group under cups, which is a LP admin, and the user we're adding is pi. So unless you've changed your user account on the pi, your username is pi, so that's what we need to do. We press enter on that, and that should actually have happened. Right, we can now move to working in a web browser, which is a little bit easier. So we can close down the terminal, and we can go to the uh, Epiphany browser there. And uh, here we are in the browser. We're now going to go to http colon forward slash forward slash local host and then port 631. Just accept that's where we have to go. And that will bring up the CUPS administration panel. So from here, we can start to add in a printer. So I can click on uh, adding printers and classes. You probably guessed that one. And at this stage, I'm going to make sure I've connected my printer to the Pi. So my printer there is my Kyocera FS1300D laser printer. Not the most common of printers, but lovely printer. And I'm going to connect it to the Pi with a USB lead in the standard way. There we are, that's now plugged in. So if I go to uh, add printer, uh, it'll now ask us for our uh, username and password. Our username is Pi if you're using the default username and password on the, on the Pi. And the default password is Raspberry. Raspberry. If we click OK, it should let us in. Looks like it's doing something. Yes, there's a lo loading local host at the bottom. And there we are. It's brought us to a screen to add the printer. And this is quite encouraging because Kyocera FS1300D appears there. It's obviously communicated with it a little bit anyway by USB. So that's a good starting point. So we'll continue on that. And it's given it a name, which is fine in the description. That's obviously based on the name. That's all right. So we'll click on continue. And that also seems to be OK. And then we now need to go down and find here, presumably, 
the exact, um, oh, moving around, don't quite know why, the exact uh, model of printer, FS. Um, where are we? Obviously, you'll be deselecting whatever printer you're putting on. It hasn't got a 1300D, that's, I'm not that surprised. So we'll try taking, for example, the first um, 1200 driver. That could be a reasonable guess. Uh, we'll hope that works and add printer. There we are, that seemed to be quite successful. Um, it's picked up A4 and things for my paper type, I'll accept that. I'll set the default options. Let's not try and be too, uh, too clever. Printer and default options have been set successfully and um, we seem to be okay, that seems to be working. So I'm gonna go back to uh, the home panel there. My printer is currently turned on, but it's in sleep mode. I'm now gonna try and be very, very wild. and I'm going in the web browser to the little menu there and to print, and see if we can print this page. So we'll select print to that printer and we'll um, press print. This is a live test, so I really hope it works. Nothing obviously happening, but the printer is currently asleep, so hopefully it'll wake up. Nothing's happening there on the screen, but we'll see what goes on. Let's cut to the shot of the printer. Anything going on? Oh yes, there's lights coming on. That's very exciting. I don't think it's ever been so exciting waiting for, yes, we have a page coming out on the printer. And it looks like it's gonna work. Marvelous, and if we have a look at that, uh, it is indeed a printout of what it should be. Uh, you can probably just about see that there. This is a printout of the, um, the page we were just on, on the web. So we've clearly proved we've actually managed to connect a printer successfully to work on our Raspberry Pi. It's great to see a printer working on a Raspberry Pi. And indeed, this functionality will come in very handy for me next week when I spend a whole seven days using my Raspberry Pi 2 as my only computer. So I look forward to reporting back to you on that and talking to you again very soon. Um.